Hello, students. How are you today? Now, Susan, did you have a good day yesterday? I don't understand. That's okay. Yesterday was in the past, and we're going to talk about the past today. Now, things that happened in the past happened before now. So, yesterday, yesterday is the word for the day before today. Yesterday happened before today. It happened before now. Now, to talk about the past, we use verbs in the past tense. In the past tense. And today, we're going to talk about the simple past tense. Okay? Now, we use the simple past tense to talk about events in the past that are finished. Some verbs in English are called irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. These are special verbs. We saw some of them in the present tense. Now, irregular verbs change in the past tense. And today, we'll talk about a few important irregular verbs. Now, first, we're going to look at the verb be. Be. Okay? Now, here we go. We'll look at it in the present and the past. So we say, I am, I am. In the past, we say, I was. I was. Okay? Next we have you are. In the past, you were. So, you are, you were. Now, he is, he is, he was. In the past. And of course, she is, she was. It is, it was was. Okay? Now, we are, we were, we were. You, you are, you were. And they are, they were. So again, I am, was, I was. You are, you were. He is, he was. She is, she was. It is, it was. We are, we were. You are, you were. They are, you were. Okay? So, I and he, she, it are a little bit different. Okay. Now, you can see on the monitor a chart of how this works. We have present, past, positive, and negative. Okay, so I am, I was. I was here, I wasn't here. You are, you were. You were here, you weren't here. Then he is, he was, he was here, he wasn't here. With she, she is, she was, she was here, she wasn't here. With it, it is, it was, it was here, it wasn't here. We, we are, we were, we were here, we weren't here. You, you are, you were, you were here, you weren't here. And they, they are, they were, they were here, they weren't here. Okay? So here's an example of how it looks in a chart. Now, 
The four forms of the negative past are was not and were not. Was not, I was not, he was not, she was not, were not, you were not, they were not, for example. Okay? Now, to make them shorter, we say wasn't and weren't. Okay? Now it's shorter. I wasn't, you weren't. Okay? So, was not becomes wasn't, were not becomes weren't. Now, let's look at all of them in a question. This is a yes-no question. So, here we go. Was I, mm -hmm. was I, were you, was he, she, or it, were we, were you, and were they. Okay, so again, was I, were you, was he, was she, was it, were we, were you, were they. Okay, so this will make questions for yes-no questions. Now, <clears throat> a question B can have short answers. Now, here's some examples of some questions and some answers. So here's one question. Were you in Taksim yesterday? Were you in Taksim yesterday? No, I wasn't. Were you in Taksim yesterday? No, I wasn't. Another one. Was I at home yesterday? Was I at home yesterday? No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Was I at home yesterday? No, you weren't. Was it hot yesterday? No, it wasn't. Was it hot yesterday? No, it wasn't. Okay, so these are all in the past. Now, let me ask you some questions. All right. Susan, were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was in class yesterday. Ali, was Susan in class yesterday? Yes, Susan was in class yesterday. Isabel, was I in class yesterday? Yes, you were in class yesterday. Yes. Ali, were Sean Penn and Julia Roberts in class yesterday? No, they weren't. No, not this class. Isabel, were Susan and I in class yesterday? Yes, you were. And Susan, were you and Isabel in class yesterday? Yes, we were. Good. All right. Now, let's talk about some time words. These are words that we use in the simple past, okay? Or in the past, in general. Time words. All right, here we go. The first one you've seen, yesterday. Yesterday, all right? So, for example, today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. And we can say something like yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday morning 
was Monday morning. Yesterday morning. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday morning was Monday morning. Now we get the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. So the day before yesterday, before yesterday, happened two days before today. So for example, Monday, Tuesday, oops, Monday, Sunday, Saturday. So Saturday is the day before yesterday. Okay, last night. Now, it's only last night. We don't say yesterday night. This is the night before today. Okay, last night, not yesterday night. Last weekend. This is the weekend before today. So last weekend is the weekend before today. Okay, let me make some space and I'll show you some more. Last week. Last week. The week before the week we are in. So last week is the week before the week we are in. Last month, this is getting easier, the month before the month, oops, we are in. The month before the month we are in. January, December. June, May. Last year. The year before the year we are in. Last year. The year before the year we are in. 2005, 2004, 2004, 2003. Okay? Now, these words all tell about when something happened in the past. Now, let's look at a calendar for August 2004. You can see the calendar on your screen. Now, Let's say today is the 17th of August, 2004. Now, we're going to look at some sentences and fill in the blanks. So let me make some space here on the board, and then we'll have the assistants answer the questions. But you look at the sentences, and you think about the words that go in there. OK. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do these one by one. Here's the first one. Today is Tuesday, and Susan, you're going to do this one. Susan? Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Yes, good. Uh huh. Yesterday, yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Okay, Isabel, here's one for you. The morning of 16th August was, Isabel? The morning of 16th August was yesterday morning. Yes, good girl. Yesterday morning. The morning of 16th August was yesterday morning. OK, Ali, of course, this one is for you. The evening of 16th August 
was was the evening of 16th August was last night. Yes, good. Last night. Okay, not yesterday night, last night. All right? Okay, Isabel, for you, Sunday, 15th for August, was... Sunday, 15 August was the day before yesterday. Yes, good. The day before yesterday. Okay? Sunday, the 15th of August, was the day before yesterday. Okay, Susan, here's one for you. Saturday, 14th August, and Sunday... 15th August, August, were? Saturday, 14th August, and Sunday, 15th August, were last weekend. Yes, good. Were last weekend. Saturday, 14th of August, and Sunday, 15th August, were last weekend. Okay, Ali, for you. Wednesday, 11th August, was a day. Wednesday, 11th August, was a day. Which is last Wednesday? Okay. It was a day last week. Okay. Easy. Okay? So okay. again. Wednesday, 11th August, was a day last week. Last week, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So, Wednesday, 11th August, was a day last week. Isabel, the days between 8th August and 14th August were all days... Okay. The days between 8th August and 14th August were all days last week. Yes, good girl. All right. The days between 8th August and 14th August were all days last week. Okay, Susan, this one's kind of easy. Was July. Last month was July. Last month was July. And Ali, an easy one for you. Last year was 2003. Yes, last year was 2003. Last year was 2003. Okay, so you can see all of these time words and you can see the past tense verbs. Okay, now let's practice some more. Isabel, were you in France last week? No, I wasn't. I was in Turkey. Ah. Uh, were you in France last month? No, I wasn't. I was in France last year. Ah, okay. Susan, were you in Malaysia last week? No, I was in Turkey last week. I was in Malaysia last month. Ah, okay. Ali, were you and Susan in class the day before yesterday? No, we weren't. The day before yesterday was Sunday. There weren't any classes last weekend. Yes, that's right. Very good, and thank you. All right, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I was in class yesterday. You weren't at home last night. Jose was in Istanbul last weekend. It was hot last week. We were at home yesterday morning. You two girls were in France last month. 
The teachers were in Germany last year. Read and repeat. Simple past tense, irregular verbs. Now, we're going to look at some irregular verbs that we use a lot in English. The first one is go. Go. First, we'll look at the simple past positive. And then we'll look at the simple past negative. And you can see the patterns. Now, if you look at your screen, you will see what go looks like in the past. First, I go. I went. I didn't go. You go. You went. You didn't go. He goes. He went. He didn't go. She goes, she went, she didn't go. It goes, it went, it didn't go. We go, we went, we didn't go. You go, you went, you didn't go. They go, they went, they didn't go. Okay? Now, the next one that we're going to look at is do. Do. Do is very important because it's a helping verb. So let's look and see again at the simple past positive and the negative. So here we go. I do. I did. I didn't do. You do. You did. You didn't do. He does, he did, he didn't do. She does, she did, she didn't do. It does, it did, it didn't do. We do, we did, we didn't do. You do, you did, you didn't do. They do, they did, they didn't do. Okay, now you're beginning to see the pattern. And here's one more. Have. Again, have is very important because it's also a helping verb. And we use it a lot in English. And again, we'll look at the simple past positive and negative. So, here we go with have. I have. I had. I didn't have. You have. You had, you didn't have. He has, he had, he didn't have. She has, she had, she didn't have. It has, it had, it didn't have. We have, we had, we didn't have. You have, you had, you didn't have. They have, they had, they didn't have. Now, notice that the simple past tense is the same for I, you, she, he, it, we, you, and they. For all of these, the simple past is the same. No change, no S, all the same. Uh, went, 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 did, 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 had, had, had. Okay? So it's very important to remember. Now, with questions, we use the helping verb, do, except we use did. So for questions, 
we use did, so for a yes-no question, did, subject, and then the verb for a question. So did, for example, did you go? Okay, this is the past. This one changes. This one is normal, always, okay? So let's look at some examples for questions. Now, I'll make some room here, and I'll show you some examples. Did you go to the doctor? Did you go to the doctor? Here's the helping verb, and here's the normal verb, okay? Another example. Did she do the lesson? Did she do the lesson? Again, did, and the normal verb. Did they have eggs for breakfast? Did they have eggs for breakfast? Here's the helping verb in the past and the normal verb. Okay? So these are the same and then these are different according to the verb. So again, did you go to the doctor? Did she do the lesson? Did they have eggs for breakfast? Now, let's look at making them negative. We saw this on the screen earlier. So... With these, we use didn't or did not. So here we go. I didn't go to the doctor. So again, we have the helping verb, not, and the normal verb. Okay? This is in the past. She didn't do the lesson. She didn't do the lesson. Helping verb, not do. And they didn't have eggs for breakfast. They didn't have eggs for breakfast. Helping verb, not normal verb. So again, I didn't go to the doctor, she didn't do the lesson, they didn't have eggs for breakfast. Okay? So this is very important for the past. Now, I'm going to ask some questions. And I want you to give one positive and one negative answer. And you can use full or short answers. So, Ali, did you go to school yesterday? Yes, I went yesterday. I didn't go the day before yesterday. Okay. Ali, did you do your homework? Yes, I did my homework yesterday. I didn't do it last week. Okay. Susan, did you go to France last month? No, I didn't go to France. I went to Malaysia. Ah. Did you go to work on Friday, Isabel? Yes, I went to work on Friday. But I didn't go on Thursday. I was ill. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a fever? No, I didn't have a fever. I had a stomach ache. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you go to the doctor? No, I didn't. I went home. I had some tea and went to bed. Yes, good. Did you have a stomach ache too, Susan? No, I didn't have stomach ache. I had a headache. Ah, and what did you do? I didn't do anything. I went to bed. Well, I hope you feel much better soon. All right, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I went to class yesterday. You didn't go to Istanbul last week. He went to Germany last weekend. The eggs didn't break. 
I did my homework. The girls didn't buy bread. Read and repeat. Simple past tense, regular verbs. Now, one way to remember words for the past is to look at a timeline. You can see the timeline on the screen. We have now, and then we look into the past. We see yesterday, last night, last week, last month. Those are the time words. And then some of the past verbs are was, were, went, did, and had. Now, we make the past tense for most other verbs by adding ed. This is for regular verbs. Okay? So we add ed for regular verbs. Sometimes this is a little different, and we will see this. Okay, now... Let's look at how we spell some of the regular verbs that you already use or that you have seen in class. There are five groups of spelling rules. The first one is to add ed. Easy, okay? Now, here are some examples. Listen, listened. Look, Looked. Wash. Washed. Work. Worked. Okay? So for these groups, so for verbs in this group, we only add ed. So again, listen, listened. Look, looked. Wash, washed. Work, worked. Okay, now, the second group for spelling is, if there is already an E, we only add D. Okay, so here's some example. Use, there's already an E. So we just say, used, only D. Like, there's already an E, liked. And live, there's already an E, lived. Okay? So, for verbs with, that already have E, we only add D. So, we have use, used, like, liked, live, lived. Okay, now, the third group is this. Some verbs are very short. They end in a consonant. We have to make two consonants and then ed. So consonant plus ed. So here's some examples. Stop. Stop. Okay? It's a short word. Use a consonant and a vowel. So this one becomes stopped. Stopped. P-E-D. Okay, we need this for the sound, all right? Okay, we'll see some more examples later. The fourth one is verbs that end in Y, consonant Y. We take out the Y and we make it I-E-D. Now, here's some examples. Study, we have a consonant and a Y. Now... We take this out and we say studied, okay? The Y becomes an I and then we add ED. This one is special. Here's another one, try. Take out the Y, T-R, make it an I, E-D, okay? So the consonant Y. 
the Y becomes an I, ED. Okay? So study, studied, try, tried. And the fifth one, if it's a vowel plus Y, so let's vowel plus Y, it's normal. Okay? So for example, play, you have a vowel and a Y, play, played. Okay? This one you have to remember because it's probably the most difficult one. Consonant Y, I-E-D. Vowel Y, normal. Okay? Now, let's practice with these verbs. And uh, I'm going to have the assistants help in this. And first let me make some room on the board. Now, I'm going to give you some sentences and you're going to change them to the past tense. For example, I listen to the teacher. I listened to the teacher. Okay? So present tense, I listened to the teacher. Past, I listened to the teacher. Okay? Now, Isabel, here's your sentence. You live in France. Isabel? You lived in France. Spell the verb, Isabel. L-I-V-E-D. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. You lived in France. Okay. And what's special about this verb? It ends with the... Yes, so it ends with E, you only add D. Oops, we need a period. Okay, now, Ali, here's your sentence. We study English. We studied English. Okay, spell it. S-T-U-V-I-E-D. Okay, and why did you change it? It ends with Y. Yes, it ends with Y. It has to become I. Good. Okay. Um, now, Susan, here's your sentence. We play baseball. We played baseball. Okay. We played... Oops, I should ask you to spell it too late. We played baseball. Uh, okay. Now... Here's a why. It didn't change. Why? Because of the vowel. Because of the vowel. Yes, good. Okay. Now, Ali, here's your sentence. I wash my blouse. I washed my blouse. Okay, spell it. W-A-S-H-E-D. Yes, good. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you don't have a blouse, Holly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Susan, here's your sentence. He looks tired today. He looked tired yesterday. Okay, good. Spell it. L-O-O-K-E-D. Yes. He looked tired yesterday. Good. This is past of today. Okay, Isabel, here's one. The managers work today. The managers worked yesterday. Yes. The managers, spell it. W-O-R-K-E-D. Yes, good. The managers... Worked yesterday. Very good. Pronunciation. Now, let's work on some pronunciation. Now, it doesn't matter if you know the words. This is for the sound of the past tense. And so we'll make some different groups. Now, 
We saw five spelling groups. Now we're going to look at pronunciation groups. Okay, now, for example, <clears throat> sometimes we have ED. Sometimes it sounds like ed, sometimes it sounds like t. So we're going to look at these groups. Now, after long vowel sounds like play, we have a, played, we have this sound, d, played, only d, okay? Played, no ed, okay? Played. Here's another word with long vowel sound. This is long e. So, agreed. Agreed. Okay? And of course, this one has e, so it's only d. And then we have try. Now, this is long i sound. I. So, tried. Tried. Okay? So, again, play, played. Long A, D, agree, agreed, long E, D, try, tried, long I, D, and we have two more, show, showed, okay, showed, long O, D, showed, boo, boo, booed. This one is a little bit special. Uh, this is just a sound we say, so ed. But this is a long u sound, u, d. So again, play, long a, played. Agree, long e, agreed. Try, long i sound, tried. Show, long o sound, showed. Boo, long u sound, booed. Okay? So, this is the D group. Now, here we go again. We can say all of these words. Played, agreed, tried, showed, and booed. Okay? Now, there's another group that has consonant sounds. Let's do this here. And this one also is with D. Same group, but the spelling is a little bit different. Okay? So these are some consonant sounds. We have rub, b, rubbed, rubbed. And notice two Bs. Okay? It's a short word with a consonant BB, rubbed. Okay? Another one, sag, sag, sagged. Again, we have the consonant, short word, sagged, two G's. Love, love, loved. Okay? Here's the consonant. Remember, this one is silent, E is silent. Loved. Okay? Slam. Slamador. Slammed. Slammed. Okay? So again, two M's because it's small. D. Slammed. Open. Open. Opened. Opened. And close, closed, closed. Okay? So notice these rub, rubbed, sag, sagged, love, loved, slam, slammed, open, opened, close. Closed. Okay? So these are the consonants that are followed by d sound. Now, let's say these again. 
we have rubbed, you say them at home, sagged, loved, slammed, opened, closed. Okay? Now, another group is kind of special because it's ED, it's the ED writing, but it's the T sound. Okay? Now, look at these words. Watch, watched. Okay? It's T. We write it like this, but we say T, watched. Cough, cough, <coughs> right? Coughed, coughed. Smoke, smoked, smoked. Stop. Now remember, this one's short with a consonant. So double P, stopped, stopped. Wash. Washed, kiss, kiss, kissed, fix, fixed. Okay? Now, if you look at the kinds of sounds here, we have ch, th, k, p, sh, s, and x. Okay? Kind of s and soft sounds. So, again, we have watched, you say them at home, coughed, smoked, stopped, washed, kissed, fixed. Okay? Good. Now, I want you to see one more group, and this one is kind of normal, and this one is ed. So, for example, decide, decided, decide, decided, all right? There's an E, so we only add D. Start and started. Start, started. Now, these are with D and T, ed, okay, for those sounds. Decided and started. Okay? These ones are normal. Now, let's practice. Let me make some room here first. And I'm going to give you some verbs. You're going to make them into the past, and then we're going to put them in groups. Now remember, our assistants will help, but you guess first. Now, worry, walk, Want, stay, hope, list, carry, like, visit. Okay? So we're going to work with worry, walk, want, stay, hope, list, carry, like, visit. Now, I want the assistants to tell me what these are in the past tense, and then we'll work with them some more. So, first of all, Ali, what's the past tense of worry? Worried. Can you spell it? W O R R E I E D. Yeah, good. Okay. Why is there an I? It ends with Y. It ends with Y, and there's a consonant before it. Okay, Isabel. Walked. Spell it. W-A-L-K-E-D. Yes, all right. Susan, want? Wanted. Spell it. W-A-N-T-E-D. Mm-hmm, good. All right, Isabel, you're next. State. Spell it. S T 
A Y E Z. Yes, good. And Susan Hope. Hoped. Spell it. H O P E D. Yes, good. All right, Ali. List. Listed. Spell it. L I S T E D. Yes, good. And Isabel, carry. Carried. Spell it. C A R R I E D. Yes, good. And Susan, like. Liked. Spell it. L I K E D. Mm -hmm. And finally, Ali, visit. Visited. V I S I T E D. Yes, good. Okay, now we're going to put these words into a chart. And here is the chart. We'll also do it on the screen. We have the d sound, the t sound, and the ed sound. Okay? So we're going to put these words, these words, into this chart. Are you ready? Okay. Susan, where does worried go? It has the sound. It goes under the. The. Uh -huh. The. Yes, worried. Okay. And Ali, where does walked go? Walk has a T ending. It goes under T. Okay. T. Walked. All right. Isabel, where does wanted go? Wanted has an ED ending. It goes under ED. Okay. Walked. Oops. Wanted. Wanted. Okay. All right. Ali, where does stayed go? Stayed. It has a the ending. It goes under the. Yes. Stayed. All right. Isabel, where does where does hoped go? Hoped has a T ending. It goes under T. Hoped. Hoped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listed. Susan? Listed has an UD ending. It goes under UD. Yes. Listed. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Isabel, where does carried go? Carried has the ending. It goes under D. Yes. Carried. And Susan, what about liked? Liked has a T ending. It goes under T. Yes, liked. All right. And Ali, where does visited go? Visited has a it ending. It goes under it. Yes, visited. Okay, so we can see from these we have the three groups of the worried, stayed, carried, the t words walked, hoped, liked, and the ud words wanted, listed, visited. Okay? Now, this is the chart that you made and it'll help you to remember these things. You can make the chart at home with all of these verbs. But now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I washed my hands before breakfast. You smoked a pipe. Lisa worried about her sister's broken arm. Ali liked his new shoes. We carried the timbers. You listened to the students. The baseball players enjoyed the game. Read and repeat.
listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen to these words and phrases and write them down. Number one. Yesterday. Yesterday. Number two. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Number three. Last night. Last night. Number four. Last week. Last week. Number five. Last year. Last year. Now, check your work. Number one. Yesterday. Number two. Yesterday morning. Number three. Last night. Number four. Last week. Number five. Last year. Good. Now it's time for the sentences. Listen and write the sentences. Number one. Isabel stayed home last night. Isabel stayed home last night. Number two. Lisa didn't have a headache yesterday. Lisa didn't have a headache yesterday. Number three. You went to America last year. You went to America last year. Number four. Ali and Lisa didn't do their homework. Ali and Lisa didn't do their homework. Number five. We were in the office on Thursday last week. We were in the office on Thursday last week. Now, check your work. Number one. Isabel stayed home last night. Number two. Lisa didn't have a headache yesterday. Number three. You went to America last year. Number four. Ali and Lisa didn't do their homework. Number five. We were in the office on Thursday last week. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Nick and Tom went to America last month. For two weeks, they lived with Tom's brother in Chicago. They had a nice bedroom. They did many things. Nick enjoyed the sports. Tom's brother and Nick were able to go to some American football and basketball games. Tom didn't go to any games. He didn't watch them on TV. The weather was sunny and warm. Tom went sailing on Lake Michigan. Nick was ill. He didn't like the water. Sometimes Tom and Nick went to restaurants. They both liked the restaurants. They were in Chicago a short time, but they had fun. Now, listen to the questions and write the answers. Number one. 
When did Nick and Tom go to America? When did Nick and Tom go to America? Number two. Did they go to a hotel? Did they go to a hotel? Number three. Did they have an ugly bedroom? Did they have an ugly bedroom? Number four. What did Nick enjoy in Chicago? What did Nick enjoy in Chicago? Number five. What did Tom do? What did Tom do? Number six. Was the weather nice? Was the weather nice? Number seven. Did Tom enjoy the basketball games? Did Tom enjoy the basketball games? Number eight. Why didn't Nick like sailing? Why didn't Nick like sailing? Number nine. Are Nick and Tom still in Chicago? Are Nick and Tom still in Chicago? Number 10. Did Nick and Tom have fun? Did Nick and Tom have fun? Now, check your work. Number when. When did Nick and Tom go to America? They went to America last month. Number two. Did they go to a hotel? No. They lived with Tom's brother. Number three. Did they have an ugly bedroom? No. They had a nice bedroom. Number four. What did Nick enjoy in Chicago? Nick enjoyed the sports. He also liked the restaurants. Number five. What did Tom do? Tom went sailing. Number six. Was the weather nice? Yes, the weather was sunny and warm. Number seven. Did Tom enjoy the basketball games? No. Tom didn't go to the basketball games and didn't watch them on TV. Number eight. Why didn't Nick like sailing? Nick was ill. Number nine. Are Nick and Tom still in Chicago? No, they were in Chicago for a short time. Number 10. Did Nick and Tom have fun? Yes, they had fun. All right. Very good work, and we'll see you next time. Practicing English. Jack, hi, it's me, Angie. Hi, Angie. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better this afternoon? Yes, I'm feeling a little better. I had a sore throat and cough this morning, but I am better now. Yeah, we missed you at lunch today. We had nothing to talk about without you there. Very funny. I called to find out what happened there today. How'd it go? It went very well. Your students are great. What did you teach today? I was great in the class, too. I talked about regular and irregular verbs. I'm sorry I put you in a hard situation. I can't believe I was sick this morning. 
I was really happy to be in your class instead of you. I really like your class. Okay, so what else happened today? What I miss? Uh, we're having a dance party soon. Jack, that's a pretty good report. I have to call Lexi now. Uh, will you come to school tomorrow, Angie? I'm not sure yet. I want to, but I will see how I feel tomorrow. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Hi, Lexi. Oh, hi, Angie. How are you feeling? Are you still sick? I'm not sure. I had a bad cough and a sore throat this morning. I feel okay now, but I've taken some cold medicine. Well, I was with the guys today at lunch. We missed having you around. Of course, we talked about you. Thanks, Lexi. So, what else did you talk about at lunch? Oh, I heard that your English course is having a dance party. I heard that from Jack a few moments ago. Will you come? I'd love to. But I'm not from English time. I don't think I can come, and I haven't been invited. Alexi, come on. Of course you can come. I'm inviting you. Would you please be my dance partner at the dance party? That's very kind of you, Angie. I'd love to be there with you.、Uh, I, I can't turn you down. Of course I'll come. Thanks for accepting my invitation, Alexi. I have to say bye now. See you soon. See you later, Angie. Bye. Hello. Hi, Sam. It's me. Did you miss me today?、Uh, do you mean that you weren't in school today? I didn't notice. <laughs> ha ha! I know you missed me at lunch and at school. Who did you talk to since I wasn't there? Yeah, I sat with、uh, Carrie. She's very good at talking about everything. So you enjoyed yourself at lunch then? Yes, of course. Lunch time is my favorite time. I was wondering what is new on the social scene. Well, Jim Peters asked about you. Stop! I heard that already. Jim Peters asked about me. Okay, okay, I know. Sorry, that was the big story of the day. Hmm. What else happened? Oh well. Do you know that Green Martians invaded the school during the last hour of the day and kidnapped all the teachers into outer space? Hmm. That is more interesting than Jim Peters. Okay. Bye.